We close tonight with one woman's amazing journey around the world now entering its final leg. As Anna Werner reports, it's a trip that took an unexpected romantic detour. On a bike, in a kayak, and in a rowboat, Sarah Ooten has been making her way around the world solo for the last four years, 21,600 miles so far. Next stop, London and home. That is, after one more leg, a 3,000-mile row across the North Atlantic. It's a big, rough ocean. It is. I'm definitely not taking it for granted. Uten started her trip from London in April 2011 and cycled across Europe to Russia, then went on to Japan to row across the Pacific Ocean. It was there in 2012 that she encountered a tropical storm. For three days, she tried to ride it out through 50-foot waves. That was three utterly frightening days when I didn't know if I was going to be okay. The Japanese Coast Guard had to rescue her. But they didn't put you off from going across another ocean. I was really clear in my head and my heart during that storm that I was going to go back out. But back home, depression set in. It took her six months to get back her passion for adventure and a new boat. It helped that during that time she met the love of her life, her girlfriend, Lucy. Six months later, after returning to Japan to complete that Pacific Ocean leg, she called Lucy from her satellite phone and asked her to marry her. I was about a thousand miles out to sea in the middle of the Pacific, totally alone, in a storm, I think. So, and so just your standard marriage <laughs> proposal? I think so. I think so. Since then, Uten has battled the waves, the cold, snakes, and the occasional grizzly bear. Go away! All in a quest to experience the journey of life. I've faced repeated setbacks in this journey and met them. I still believe in the journey. But one thing she says she's learned from her travels is you don't have to make that journey alone. Next time, she'll take her wife. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.